Hey guys, it's your girl Casey Marie here, and we're back with another Spill It in 10, where we highlight the top 10 trending moments in pop culture and hip-hop today. Now, I know we took a little hiatus, but we back and we better than ever. I know you missed us, so let's get started. Number 10, Lil Durk and J. Cole tease new music together. Now, if you don't know, Lil Durk's album drops this week on Friday. And you know he has to get a top dog on his album. And in an Instagram post, they posted a little snippet of them together looking like they're shooting a music video and there's kids in the background and they look like they're having a good time. So hopefully Lil Durk can get his first number one single and we can get a bop this summer. Who's ready for it? Number nine, The Weeknd wants to switch things up. So it looks like The Weeknd is transitioning and he kind of wants to, you know, be somebody different, be somebody new, be bigger, be better. And in a new interview with W Magazine, he talks about how he kind of wants to not be called The Weeknd anymore, how he wants to move away from that name, how he's kind of outgrown that stage name. Now, he doesn't know exactly what he wants to be called now, but he's thinking of by just going by his government name, Abel. And let's see what Abel is going to give us for this new year. Like, let's see what he's going to give us for the rest of the year and more to come after this year. Because, you know, Abel might get in his bag. More in his bag than The weekend did. So, you know, it's all about growth. It's all about becoming different and new and better every day. So we're so happy. And we're not mad at The weekend for this. Oh, I mean, Abel. Sorry, Abel. Good for you, and we love to see what's happening. We can't wait to see what's next. Number eight, Little Yachty announces new tour. Now, I know everybody's excited for Yachty's tour called Field Trip, and it's scheduled to kick off September 21st. And first, he's hitting all the major cities, such as New York, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Pittsburgh, Delaware, Detroit. The list goes on, okay? Then... In November, he's going to hit it overseas, okay? He's going to do a European tour. He's going to touch down with London, Paris, Norway, okay? Like, he's really outside. Now, they also talked about quality control acts also visiting him and touching the stage with him. So, I just know that tour is going to be lit. I hope that y'all get y'all tickets. I know Ticketmaster has been a little funny now. But, like, y'all got to get these tickets, okay? Because it's definitely giving a vibe. And, you know, we're going to be outside. We're going to go see Yachty, all right? We're going to go see Yachty. Number seven, Tory Lane's request for a new trial has been denied. Now, I know, I know what y'all thinking. This Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lane's shooting situation has felt like it has been going on forever. Now, back earlier this year, in the beginning of the year, he was found guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. However, he has since appealed that. He has been getting new lawyers. He's been talking to the judge himself. He's been trying to figure out how to get out of this sentencing, okay, and try to get a new trial. Now, it's also been reported that Tory Lanez has tried to beg and plead with the judge in this case, but they just wasn't trying to have it. You know, he even went as far as kind of like tugging on the heartstrings a little bit and mentioning how he's a father, someone's son, and, you know, kind of seeing if the judge can see in his shoes and maybe place their family member in his shoes and have some type of mercy but the judge was like no denied access denied and it is what it is unfortunately he has to reap what he sows and of course we don't want a black man in jail however you do have to do the time if you did do the crime now we don't know what type of sentencing he's going to get but we do know that there is a sentence hearing in the beginning of june so stick tuned for that and we'll keep y'all updated on what's to come next number six diddy and jermaine dupree are headed to verses so you know we love the verses we love when our favorite artists go head to head and give us some of their best music catalog okay like that is a vibe for us and now we're finally getting it back with diddy and jermaine dupree now there's been a lot of chatter since last year about them going head to head and how official that is but we can confirm that it's 110 percent official and they have confirmed the date for september 8th and they're gonna do it live at madison square garden they're gonna do their big one right here in new york city so we're definitely excited for that now who y'all got your money on because this is heavy hitting okay diddy jermaine dupree jd diddy it's a toss up you know I don't have my money on anybody i just want to vibe to good nostalgic music and we can't wait to see it go down because 
they have some crazy personalities, very outgoing, and it's not only going to be good music, it's going to be a good time. So we can't wait to check it out. Remember, September 8th at Madison Square Garden, and it will be live. And we're going to see who's going to be the crown, who's going to have that crown. Number five, the Friends and Lovers Festival recap. Now, the Lovers and Friends concert just went down this past weekend in Las Vegas, and it was definitely something that you did not want to miss. It gave nostalgic vibes, and it had all the OGs there from Eve, Christina Aguilera, Missy Elliott, Mariah Carey, Busta Rhymes, The Brat, Diddy, Usher. Now, like, come on, and that's not even all of them. And then, of course, we have some of our fan favorites, such as Janae Aiko, Big Sean, Summer Walker, City Girls. Like, it was definitely a vibe, and everybody turned up, showed up, and showed out. And, of course, there's some hiccups that's going to arise, such as the Chris Brown incident that allegedly happened backstage. And, you know, that didn't stop the party from going. He still got on stage, performed, did his big one. And, you know, overall, it was just a great weekend. Lovers and Friends is now considered a premier music festival. And, like, be aware that you're going to get this every year, kind of like a summer jam vibe. Like, it's going to be lit, okay? And Spill It is going to make sure they're going to be there next time, all right? Okay. Number four, the baby reflects on 2021 controversy. The baby just recently appeared on the shop uninterrupted where he has talked about his controversial statements regarding homophobia and LGBT community. He was asked if he felt any type of remorse for those comments that he said back in 2021. And he said, of course, like he wish he would have did things differently. He wish he would have said it differently. He did not mean it in the way that it got brought out. And if people know his character and his true intentions, he know he has a heart of gold and he would never want to intentionally offend or hurt anybody. Now, back in Miami in 2021, he has said some disparaging things about the LGBT plus community community saying things like if you did not come to this concert with a deadly disease such as hiv and aids good for you and all these like kind of ignorant things but we hope since 2021 that he has grown from this situation because he has mentioned that he's lost major deals because of that blowout but it looks like he's rebuilding his brand slowly but surely and we hope that he could turn it around number three summer walker and little meach with a little possible summer fling now the streets are talking and when i mean the streets of course i mean social media okay they are talking and i we don't know if they are dating for real or not it has not been confirmed rather if summer walker and little meach are officially dating or if they're just enjoying each other having fun and are just friends now neither one of them have confirmed anything we don't know if we actually even getting trolled you know like celebrities love to do that to us they we could be getting trolled um so listen we stand for it regardless but now there has been a little drama since then with little meach's ex you know i wouldn't say ex but maybe a little fling in the past has came forward to say listen i had a piece of little meach too and of course summer walker is not bothered by that and if they are kicking it kudos for them we love it and you know maybe we'll get a little name ship from them soon we'll see number two diddy and young miami were spotted out in new york city together now as we know the met gala did just pass this past monday and diddy and carisha were each other's dates now the day after they were seen strolling around in new york city even going as far as hopping on the two train and going about their day exploring the city now they also stopped to see fashion icon dapper dan and you seen them just strolling the streets you know he's really putting her on to his hometown okay and we're not sure if miami has ever been to new york but she she gave the fit okay with the with the chinchilla and the fitted new york yankee hat she was really fully embracing the new york culture okay and we're here for it now of course they're togetherness isn't traditional but they don't care they don't care what the haters say and they just love each other's company and they just they rocking so we love that for them you know keep on going number one princess diana the remix is officially number one on billboard hip-hop now ice spice since she has 
dropped on the scene last summer has just been constantly going up 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 and now she can add number one billboard to her status yes that is right the song princess diana the remix with Nicki minaj is officially number one on billboard hip-hop and they're doing the damn thing okay with over 21 million plus views and over 700,000 streams she is doing what needs to be done okay and this is no new thing for Nicki Minaj as this is her 10th time being on Billboard Hip Hop number one and this is Ice Spot's first time ever so congrats to them as they make history together and created such a dope visual and a dope song so let's see what else Ice Spice got for us because she she doing what needs to be done okay putting on for New York and we love it and that's it, y'all. We made it to the end of the Spill It In 10, where we highlight the top 10 trending moments in hip-hop and pop culture today. I am your host, Casey Marie. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And definitely leave your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, do all that good stuff. We love you. Hope you love us. And we'll see you next week.